What's up, Cowboy Nation, Cowboy Headquarters, and America's team? It's your boy, G, the number one Cowboy fan, Hampton, coming at you live, direct, and correct with some Mo News. That's right. I was what I said. Mo News. M-O News that you can use. And good morning and welcome to the Cowboys Huddle, where we, as fanatics for our Dallas Cowboys, come together in the Cowboy Huddle. And talk about our Dallas Cowboys. So I hope everybody's having a great time this morning. They're enjoying their weekend. And as we start our weekend, and first of all, I want to say, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are out there today. I mean, it's just a blessing to be able to give a big shout out to all the mothers, the nurturers, those that have raised our kids and becoming who they are so that's where we are and um so i gotta give a big shout out to them and uh say thank you to all the mothers um that has had everything to do with uh raising the children the children (laughs) into the kids that they are today Yeah, yeah, okay. So, with that being said, um, here we are this morning um, talking about our Dallas Cowboys. I got my, yeah, mug in hand. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know about y'all, but I got to have my coffee. So, let me also, before I get on into this real quick. So, let me give a big shout out. A big shout out to all the... uh, um, the uh, the social media groups that, again, as I said before, post our content into on their group uh, on social media. Started off with Dallas Cowboys on deck, Cowboys fan three sixty five, We Them Boys, Dallas Cowboys insiders. Let's give it up for those uh, social media groups. Yeah, so, um, and also uh, give thanks to all the subscribers. I think we're like 64 subscribers away from reaching 1K subscribers. Again, I, it's working. I see that you, you all are going out and asking people to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate what you do. Um, again, let's continue to reach out and say, hey, man, here's some great content by uh, G, the number one Cowboy fan, Hampton, and his panelists that comes on on Wednesday nights and all that participate in this channel. So let's go out and try to reach out to more subscribers so we can get to that 1K and so we can start selling our merchandise and things like to that nature. But um, again, so we're going to get right on to this, but I want to just really, you know, share with everybody. Again, I, I, I said this before, I had a couple of, uh, comments on you know uh this guy can we talk about football can we you know but one thing about me i i i i share some of my experiences with the with the audience you know this is just what type of you know channel this is this is not espn this is not sports center so one thing about being a part of this channel you're going to hear some 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 experiences that i've uh had in the past or you know some of the things, you know, just just like I say, it's barbershop talk. And um, that's what we do. You know, we get in here, we talk, we, you know, talk about certain things, football, we talk about family, you know. So, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of let some of the people know that, you know, can we talk about football? Yeah, we're going to talk about football. But again, I like to hear about, you know, how your weekend is going. I like to hear about your, I like to hear your opinion. See, the Sports Center and 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 ESPN, you can't you can't voice your 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 opinions. You can't. All you can do is just watch. This is not that channel. This is channel to where 
I like for everybody to be engaged. OK, so let me drink my coffee. Mm. And we'll get right on into this. So I want to go ahead and go and talk about this schedule since I don't know nobody want to hear anything. But no, I want to go talk about this schedule. Let me uh, let's let's um, I don't want to do that. I want to share this page and let's go in right on into talking about well, how hard is this schedule that we got coming up? And uh, let's let's look at it. Let's let's start right in. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, here it is. Here it is right here. Um, well, let's start with the preseason. So here's it's been it's been official. The, the schedule is out there. Uh, we got whew, 18 games, guys. Woo. <sighs> here's the preseason. Jacksonville will be playing here at the AT&T Stadium. We got Seattle. Uh, we'll actually be going to um, Seattle. And then we have Las Vegas. So with the preseason, like last year, I'm hoping that our starting quarterback doesn't sit on the bench. Now, I don't know who made that call last year for our, our starting quarterback not to even participate in the preseason games. But personally, I think that hurt our, that, that hurt our quarterback, Dak Prescott. So hopefully, I don't give a fat rat if he just plays two court two two uh series. But personally, I think Dak needs to be on the field. You know, this guy is not that guy where he can just sit out the whole. He's not that guy. He's not that guy where he can sit out and not participate in and not participate in the preseason games. Now, I don't know what that's going to look like. Maybe not the first game. He might, I mean, not the first preseason game. He might not participate in that one, but definitely the second and third preseason game, that needs to be a part of. Um, so um, the date hadn't been announced and the time hadn't been announced yet for the preseason game. But, you know, again, we know what the preseason is all about as far as it's, it's evaluation on a lot of the uh, backups, undrafted free agents, and the rookies. So um, that it kind of give the coaches an idea of what we uh, have on this team. Uh, starting with the regular season, we got to go to New York. We, we start off in a divisional game. Um, if you notice, that is a primetime game. I'm going to tell you something about being a Dallas Cowboys and being an $8 billion franchise. You get these type of primetime games. People can say what they want to say. Dallas Cowboys, they're so, fan, they're so annoying. Yeah, you're damn right we're annoying because we are the Dallas Cowboys, an $8 billion franchise. That's who we are. So we'll start off that regular game, that first uh, regular season game uh, up in New York against a, a divisional team, the New York Giants. Um, basically, I think they're doing some great things up there. Um, but I, I personally think that, you know, we should be able to, you know, take care of business. Um, and let me say this here. These first five games, it's going to be very, very interesting. And you probably say, well, what do you mean by that, G? Well, here's the deal. No one knows what our offense is going to look like. No one knows what this offense is going to bring to the table or bring to the field. There's no film on our offense. So Giants would definitely be guessing how to play our offense. You know, so uh, and I'm going to go back to that as far as when we talk about how hard this schedule is for the Dallas Cowboys. But the first four games, at least, it's going to be a guess for these opposing teams, because I'm sure. Mike McCarthy is going to always have a twist in the game. So that's September 10th, 720 kickoff. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Then we come back on the 17th. We have the Jets. So we have Aaron Rodgers and his his crew uh, coming here. Now, we know that Aaron Rodgers is a cowboy killer. He is. <laughs> Say what you want. He's a cowboy killer. But um, I think this is going to be a real good game, knowing that they have the um, defensive coordinator that they have over there. I forget his name, but he's he's a hell of a good defensive coordinator. 
But um, again, the Jets will be coming here um, on September 17th, which that'll probably be a primetime game as well because it's Aaron Rodgers. Then on Sunday, uh, September 24th, which I want to get down there and hang out with Mikey, Mikey uh, in Arizona. Hopefully we can all get together as a cowboy huddle and make that game down there. Uh, September 24th, we'll have, we'll be at Arizona playing them. Then you have New England, uh, October 1st. And then here's another primetime game against San Francisco and San Francisco on NBC. So this is another primetime game, which is going to be a, a, a huge game. Very, very huge game for Dak. So yeah, all eyes will be on this game and it's, the ratings would probably be out the roof. Then October 16th, we have the Chargers. That's going to be another primetime game knowing that the fact knowing the fact that Keller Moore is over there we're gonna pick his apart <laughs> Keller Moore we know your offense you we're gonna show you why we got rid of your ass <laughs> Monday night <laughs> but then again I guarantee he better not expose us so that could go either, either way so either this is going to make Keller Moore, it's going to break Keller Moore. Then October 22nd is a buy. Then we come back with the Rams. The Rams come here uh, noon, which that's a, that should be a great. And then we got November 5th. Boy, you know what? I wanted this game to be way up there in September because that little Swift kid <laughs> and his little, old, his little old comment that he made that the reason he's wearing zero, that's how many times that the Cowboys been to the Super Bowl. Since he's been alive, been born, which he's right. But, dude, you know, you just added fuel to the fire. So I cannot wait to this Philadelphia game in Philadelphia. <laughs> so if I'm letting you know right now, buddy, you're going to be banged. You're going to get banged, brother promise you that 325 uh, then november 12 we got the giants again here then uh november 19 we have carolina which that's going to be interesting and with them having the new uh uh bryce young uh quarterback so that'd be something to see then we come back with another uh divisional rival uh the washington commodores uh oh <laughs> commanders something <laughs> yeah we, they, they'll be here then we have seattle prime on prime video i i hate this crap they're putting on Prime Video, all these streams and stuff, but it is what it is. So that's a Thursday. So we got two Thursday night games. Uh, well, Thursday we got one Thursday night. Damn. Then we November twenty first. Oh, okay. So that's that's Thanksgiving. Yeah, November twenty third is Thanksgiving. So again, another prime time game against the you know yeah the Commanders. So we got so many com Commanders. Then we turn around and we play back on another Thursday, which uh would be uh. Get Seattle. Then December 10th, we got Philadelphia, uh, primetime game. Buffalo, primetime game. My, we, we're on the road from uh, Buffalo. That's going to be a very interesting game, playing on the road in Buffalo. Whew. Then we play on the road in Miami. Then another primetime game, Detroit. Then we end with Washington. Now, going back what I said, Going back to what I said about this schedule and how hard this schedule will be. A team is only as good as they prepare to be. Okay? Again, at this level, it's not high school football. Anytime you're playing football, it's, it's not a checkers game. It's, it's a chess game. And what this requires as the Dallas Cowboys is your team is as good as you prepare to be. So prepara preparation is key to all these regular season games. Study, study, study. And the reason you study is you study in the game to find weaknesses of your opponent okay now if you do little research you do little study you're gonna probably play poorly it's it's all about a chess game it's, it's a chess game it's about making all the right moves 
And I love the fact that we have Mike Solari as our offensive coordinator. Basically, I asked him who would the starter would be. He said the, 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 the best five would be the starters. So that lets me know it's going to be competition. Then we have Mike McCarthy as an experienced coach that knows the game. Um, yeah, he's definitely going to bring his experience to the, to, the, to the sideline. Then we have Dan Quinn on the other side, another experienced coach. I'm going to tell you something. We can do damn good this season with the experience that we have on the sideline. I love the fact that we got these experienced coaches and that's been around a while. And I think that's going to make all the difference in the world. And that's basically about putting your, your team, your players in the, in the right position to be successful. That's what it's about. So again, we can win any one of these games. We can win any one of these games that's here on this schedule. But it's all about preparation. Okay. So with that being said, you know, yeah, we can end up 12 and 5 again, 13 and 4 again. I think we'll probably even do better this year. Just due to fact to the fact that this coaching staff that we have. <laughs> this is just basically my opinion about our Dallas Cowboys and what it looks like. So, yeah. So how hard the schedule, how hard would the schedule be? It'll be as hard as we make it. It's all about how we prepare for each one of these teams. Okay. It's all about how we, pre we prepare for each one of these teams, including the weather condition, including being on the road, including all the, 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 the opposition that may be in your way. Uh, keeping us from being a winner. It start with our coach and it start with our players. But again, a coach has to put the players in the right position to be successful. So, yeah, which leads me to this next this next topic. Cowboys rookie reveals chip on shoulder amidst, amid constant doubts. And you probably wonder who I'm talking about. Yeah, Deuce Vaughn. So he has a he has a he has a chip on his shoulder. You know, he he's, he quoted, he said, "You get to college and guys kind of question and doubt your ability because of your size." Vaughn said on Friday, according to the athletic John Machota. It just adds to the chip on my shoulder. That's why I'm the hardest working guy that you'll ever meet. You know, although standing at five five and 176 pounds. The Arkansas native was a unanimous All-American in 2022 after being consensus, consensus All-American in 2021 and second team All-Big 12 between 2020 and 2022. So the man has stats. He has the stats. And I can't say, you know, me, I was a small guy playing slot receiver. So. I know exactly what he's saying. You have to stay late. You got to get there. You got to get to work early as far as playing your position. You got to be the last one out, first one in. But I always say, you know, and I was always told by one of my coaches, Gary, they can't, they can't hit what they can't catch. And knowing that he's not the fast, I think he ran like a 4-6 in the 40, but he's, he's quicker than fast. Okay? He's very, a lot quicker than fast. So, which would be something that they can use as a weapon. But uh, Mike McCarthy said, I, I think clearly Deuce can play in the normal flow of our offense on first and second down. Uh, I think stating the obvious as far as the pass protection component, we've got to work together there. But there are some very distinct situational thoughts and concepts that I have in mind already. Yeah. Well, definitely have opportunities for him to take advantage of his productivity. He's a dynamic player. The first opportunity for Deuce to prove that size doesn't matter will be tested at the Cowboys minicamp this weekend. So, yeah, they are doing their minicamp. 
So, yeah, dude should have a chip on his shoulder. Being a small guy, and basically what he said, even going through high school, you know, that, you know, there was doubters. What can this guy do for us? Um, when he went to college, same thing. What can this little guy do for us? And he's have proven, you know, proven time and time again. And now that he has started a new chapter in his life, in the NFL, basically, means the same thing. You know, there, there's going to be doubters, but he has a chip on his shoulder. And I see this kid coming in, like I say, uh, maybe not in pass protection, but in the same thing, you know, it's going to, this is where Mike McCarthy comes in and he, he uses his, his genius mindset. Because I know a lot of defense might look at by him being in the game that it's going to be a run play. Mm. So that means they might stack the box, stack the box saying that, OK, it's a run. So let's let's stack the box. Well, not so quick, says Mike McCarthy, because right when you think it's a run play. Right over the top. It's all about making a defense play an honest. Scheme. Keeping them on their heels. So right when you think you want to blitz, it might be a run. When you think it's going to be a pass, it's going to be a run. <laughs> or vice versa. If you think it's going to be a run, it's going to be a pass. If you think it's going to be a pass, it's going to be a run. And that's basically how the game works. So, yeah, big ups to uh, Deuce Vaughn having that chip on his shoulder. And it's going to be something to see. So, and which, like I said once before, they have started their um, Ricky Minicamp. So hopefully get some some uh, video on what's going on out there. It's going to be definitely to see. And I'm going to bring it to you if I get any video. Which leads us to another conversation, a perfect fit. Steve Sokakesian. Raves about the Marvin Overshown role with the Cowboys. Mm. Now, this is the coach from uh, at a was uh, Texas coach, Texas uh, Longhorns coach. He said, so, so Kizian said Quinn didn't contact him for intel on Overshown during the pre draft process. He likely saw the same type of impactful player that Sark saw based on the film that made Jerry Jones pull the trigger. He's a runner, Sarkeesian said of Overshone. He's a hitter. He's got great speed, and I know he loves the ball. So I just think it's an awesome fit. Yeah, basically, was also been told time will tell if 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 Quinn transformed Overshone into the next great cowboy. But Sarkeesian considered his former captain the right option for for Dallas defense due to his versatility. In four years, Overshone played everywhere, including safety, linebacker, and even took reps as a situational pass rush. Now, this story came from the Longhorn country, a fan nation. Uh, Cole Thompson brought this story. So, thank you, Cole Thompson. I think this is a great article that you put out there. So, let me say this here about this kid, Overshone. Remember, remember what we brought Parson in? When we brought Parson, as a rookie, we brought Parson in as a rookie. We really we thought maybe, oh, he's going to be a linebacker. And come to find out, he played linebacker. He played defensive end. And he had a beast of a season his rookie year. Well, folks, let me share something with you. Remember this name right here, DeMarvian Overshaw. I see that this kid could play the same role as Michael Parson played when he came in as a rookie. Maybe not much as the defensive end, but you're definitely going to see this kid on a lot of blitz packages. Come on now, follow me now. You might see this kid doing the same thing that Michael Parson did when he was a rookie. This is a minor, this is, this is a great mind of a, a great defensive coordinator, someone like Dan Quinn, DQ. Sark said he's a hitter. He loves the ball. He's fast. 
So remember the name, the Marvian Overshone. We might see him in a lot of situations on the field just because of his mobility, his quickness, his love for the ball, ball and he's a hard hitter. So, again, this is not what I'm worried about. I'm not pretty much too much worried about our, our offense. I mean, our defense. I'm not really worried about our defense. I'm more concerned about our offense and what it's going to look like. And personally, when I say that, I say this here, guys. I, I think this offense is going to be something that to, to be reckoned with. I'm telling you. Guys, look at what we have. We have Mike McCarthy. We have, we have, we have an offensive line in coach as running back coach. We have Mike Solari as our offensive coordinator, I mean, offensive line coach. We have Brian Schottenheimer working with Mike McCarthy. We have Dan Quinn on the defensive side of the ball. Don't sleep on them Cowboys, y'all. And you heard it here first. Well, with that being said, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Man, I just wanted to come over here and talk to how hard is this Dallas Cowboys schedule for the 23-24 season. It's as hard as we make it. Preparation, preparation, preparation. Great mind think, thinks alike. And all these position coaches that we have and head coaches. Yeah, that's exactly what we have. Well, anyway, let me move on, guys. I'm not going to hold y'all in alone. Y'all go ahead and enjoy your weekend. I know you guys got things to do. Um, um, again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And um, I hope everybody's enjoying it, their self and their time off. And uh, we'll be getting back with you soon. So do me a favor. Make sure you hit the like button, the notification button. And make sure you subscribe. And if you're not a subscriber, have someone subscribe to this channel. And also, those social media uh, social media groups that I mentioned, please go over there and join their groups. These are diehard Cowboy fans. They bring forth great content. So reach out to them. Join or subscribe, whatever it is that they do over there. One is the Dallas Cowboys on deck. Cowboys fan 365. We them boys. Dallas Cowboy Insider. I want to say thank you all to all those groups that take our time to post our content in their groups. So with that being said, I got to go. Got things. I got to hit the road. And and uh, you guys, I want each other to wish my son a uh, the best as he tried to, to defend his undefeated record. Uh, he's a professional boxer. And he's fighting tonight at, oh, in Odessa, Texas, which I have to make that drive. I'm going to get ready to head out of here shortly. Five hour drive weather's kind of bad so y'all keep keep me lifted up you know and uh we'll talk when i get back and i'll probably share some video of his his match so again like i always say don't nothing come to a sleep but a dream so let's make it happen dallas cowboys <laughs>